Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, July 6, 2010. I'm Jill Eckhart with your Ernerberry Market Report, sponsored by the 2010 Innovative Beef Symposium, August 25th through 26th in Denver, Colorado. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting Hormel Foods Corporation is celebrating the 150th anniversary of its founder's birth with a weekly social media series and a contest. Hormel Foods announced Friday, beginning last Friday, July 2nd, it would be sharing words of wisdom from company founder George A. Hormel via Twitter each Friday. Followers of Hormel Foods on Twitter at Hormel Foods will get exclusive access to quotes from Hormel about the lessons he learned while starting his company, plus the chance to enter a weekly contest. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate at foodmarket.com. Now, let's set the tone. In the egg market, retail demand remains fairly good. Wholesale trading activity is limited. Those sales which are reported are noted at slight premiums to our quotations. Looking at poultry in the chicken market, product lines are fairly limited overall. Wogs and whole birds are well supported. Wings are snug and wanted, especially given the time of year. The larger sizes tend to be less available than the smalls or mediums. Dark meat is steady in general. Chunk and trim remain tight and sought after. Talking turkey, early indications show the market is in about the same shape it was prior to the holiday, frozen drums are reported steady and lower for export. Fresh offerings are adequate for needs. Thigh meat continues to respond to seasonal demand patterns, which typically diminish in the summer months. All raw materials other than thigh meat are in a solid position. As a reminder, check out Ernerberry's turkey letter released this evening on Comtel. Moving over to red meats, weekend clearance of boxed beef across the United States rated above average, leading to fairly decent fill-in interest at the open of the holiday shortened work week. Reports of record sales by some retailers over the extended weekend are noted. Offering prices are seen at steady levels across all primal sections of the carcass. Now with a look at price differences in higher and lower quality beef, here's market reporter Bruce Longo. Well, thanks, Joe. The spread between choice and select graded box beef is at a year-to-date high. Demand for middle meats, including ribeye steaks, porterhouse steaks, strip loins, and peeled tenderloins, is driving the premiums on the higher quality choice product. This is not uncommon during this time of year, as summertime can be a time when less high quality choice beef is being produced, yet demand for, stri for steaks on the grill is fairly active. Back to you, Joe. Thanks, Bruce. Today has been a typically slow start to the week for the boneless beef market. Asking prices for the fresh 50s are generally consistent with where they ended last week. Undertones for the leaner boneless beef are mixed. Sources are attributing the uncertainty to questions surrounding the availability of livestock. Imported beef markets have yet to trade for the week. Processors, processors are working to assess weekend movement and the potential for follow-through on weekend orders. Sellers want to better assess current demand before releasing offering prices. Our listings are unchanged thus far. Looking at pork, buying interest for cash hogs is said to be slow due to the holiday, sh holiday shortened work week. As a result, both direct and terminal market hogs are rated steady to weak. Today, Today, hams and trimmings carry the possibility of firmer prices developing due to recent holiday-related production cutbacks. The markets for retail pork products are searching for direction. Traders are awaiting word of weekend movement and how this week's short slaughter will measure up to demand. We'll wrap things up with a look at market indices this afternoon. Last week, we find the beef market was down 0.199 percent, pork was down 0.53 percent, the chicken market was up 0.6 percent, turkey was down 3.4 percent and eggs were up 21.45 percent. Okay. Don't forget to check out Ernerberry's seafood video in its entirety this afternoon on Comtel. That is your Ernerberry mid-morning tone brought to you by the 2010 Innovative Beef Symposium. Be there to be the first to hear about new value-added cuts, how to fabricate merchandise and menu them. Space is limited. Head to beefinnovationsgroup.com to register.